Hi, in this video, we will see how to pass lambda expression as an argument to a method. For that, let us create one class named multitasker. multitasker. In this class, we will declare a method multiply public void multiply. This method takes three parameters. First parameter is of type i calculator, which is a functional interface. Okay, i calculator has one method calculate, which is an abstract method, and it is a functional interface. So the first parameter of multiply method is of type i calculator. I see, comma other two parameters of type integer. Right. Now inside this multiply method, we declare a integer variable result and we assign the value returned by the i the we call the ic ic dot we call the uh, i calculators method calculate method which returns the output that will be assigned to the result. So we pass two values. Uh, we just pass these two values i comma k. Now that the return value passed by the calculate method will be assigned to result. Now we can print the result. But print the length. Okay. So now what we can do is we can go to the main class inside the main method we will create the object we will create the object of the we will create the object of the uh, multitasker class and call the multiply method multitasker m equal to new multitasker now we can call the multiply method it's multiply method okay and we need to now we can pass now we can pass a lambda expression as an argument to this multiply method so since multiply method has the first parameter type as functional interface we can pass a lambda expression which which is compatible to this functional interface so let us do that now we can pass it as i comma k in angular this uh, angular bracket that is we have to use the lambda operator then on the right hand side of the lambda operator we have to use the lambda expression that is i i multiplied k so this is the first parameter Second and third parameters are the values 3, comma 4. Okay, so this is how we can this is how we can pass the lambda expression as an argument to a method. So this multiply methods first parameter type is of functional interface i calculator. Now we call the multiply method and pass the lambda expression as an argument. Then second and third arguments are integer values. Okay, so now let us run this code and see the output. Okay, so here the value twelve is printed. So in this video, we have seen how to pass a lambda expression as an argument to a method. In this case, the multitasker class has a method multiply its first parameter is of type lambda express first parameter is of type functional interface so in this main class main method we create the multitasker object and we call the multiply method and pass the lambda expression as an argument to that method 